Hi everyone, hope that you're having a great week. As promised, today we're doing a bit of yoga to open up into the hips. So I hope you enjoy. Again, this is a little bit more slow paced, so if you're looking for something that's a little bit more high energy, then just look back to one of our previous sessions. Otherwise, if you're looking to really open up into those hips and really, really let go there, then crack on, carry on with this one, and you can always finish with one of the relaxations that we've done in the past. So a little bit more yoga tomorrow, and then as we have been doing, another relaxation for you on Friday. Hope that you're having a great week, have a great evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. All right, so let's just begin by um, bringing ourselves into our mountain pose. So bring those big toes and those ankles together, Draw really up into the thighs and lightly squeeze into the glutes and just tilt them under, all right? Shoulders coming back and down, we're really lifted into the chest, engaging through into our bellies and, and really taking those shoulders home. We're lifted through the crown of the head and this is kind of where we want to return to the whole time with our arm, hands facing forward so that we're opening out into the shoulders, okay? So just take nice deep breaths from the base of the belly all the way through the ribs, the back, the chest, into the collarbones. So I'm going to breathe in through the nose if you can. And breathing back out. Try and extend those breaths if you can. One more. Letting go of any tension as you're exhaling just letting go of those shoulders a little bit more okay so we're going to take those legs nice and wide you can have your toes slightly facing out and we're just going to come into a slight squat so we're coming into a squat here knees are driving over towards the toes all right and we're just going to open out a little bit into the hips so i want you to take your hands just onto the inside of your thighs nice and deep here and i just want you to turn the upper body and you're almost going to push that thigh away so you're going to put weight into that now front leg, okay, and the other one, which is getting a bit of a stretch, and this is opening both out into the hips and getting a little twist into your mid spine there. So breathing in there, breathing out. Nice flat back if you can, inhale. Exhale, and we're just gonna turn and go the other way. So put your weight into that now front leg, okay, and the other one just gets a really big push away with your other hand, okay? So we're looking at this side this time, so breathing in, nice flat back if we can, exhale. Really opening out and come to center, push both. Just buck, if this is really uncomfortable for you, by the way, come slightly further up, okay? And just lightly guide your hips out or your thighs out with your hands. Breathing in, breathing out. So, we're going to turn, I want you to take your hands onto the floor, and we're just going to drop that back knee, okay, we're going to come into an extended lunge, dropping that toe, so the foot comes flat at the back, and you can either stay in this position with your hands on the floor, and just really sink into that hip, alright, relaxing into the hip, and feeling that really open up. Okay, if you want a little bit more of a stretch, you might want to walk your hands up the leg and you can hold here. Okay, it's a little bit of work into the other leg. All right, and if you want to take it even further, lift same arm as leg and just really get that stretch all the way through the hip, up through the obliques. Okay, on that side. Breathing in, breathing out, shoulders relaxed. Lovely, really nice here. Shoulders are relaxed. Okay, so that hand comes back down. All right, we're just gonna take both hands here, we're gonna tuck our toes at the back, come back into your downward facing dog and just give those hips a little bit of a break. Okay, bending one leg in, bending the other leg in, and just loosening off into that hip. Okay, you're going to lift that same leg that was just forward, and you're going to take it 
sorry, same leg, this other leg that was forward, and you're going to take it back forward, but this time, instead of putting the foot down, we're going to take the outside of the calf onto the floor, so that knee comes behind your wrist, so let's just say it's your right leg that's come forward, that comes behind your right wrist, you're dropping your left knee, untucking your back toes, and really driving that knee backwards into your pigeon. Now again, you can open up here, all right, and stay nice and tall, squeezing lightly into the glutes to look after the lower back, and just lift, shoulders are relaxed. Or, if you wanna also get a little bit of stretch into that right glute, okay, you can start to come down and forward. And this is just gonna both open out into your left hip and get a nice big stretch into that glute whilst keeping those hips really nice and level. So imagine that you've got a spirit level on your lower back. You wanna try and keep that bubble in the middle. So you can either stay here on your forearms or if you want to and you're feeling flexible enough, you can come all the way down. But it's completely up to you. Some people find this quite difficult to get into, so just ease yourself into it and feel yourself breathe. I love pigeon pose, so really like opening up into the hips. So if you're like me, you'll really love this. Breathing in, breathing out. And then if you're down on your forearms, you're gonna push back up onto your hands. Okay, one last stretch here. You're gonna tuck those toes at the back and you're gonna come back into that downward facing dog again. So we're in our down dog, we're drawing our chests back. Again, get a little bit of a pedal. You can do a deep pedal if you like, taking the feet off the ground. Really stretching there into the back, but loosening off into those hips. And we're gonna do the same on the other side now. So we lift, let's say our right leg was forward, our left leg is, uh, is forward now. Okay, and we're gonna do the same as we did before. So we're starting with our foot down on the ground, we're dropping that back knee, untucking your toes, and then you're just either gonna stay here with your fingertips on the floor, or you can walk your hands up that leg, and we're just gonna relax into it, okay? You can take all the weight into the supporting leg if you want to. So in my case, it's my left leg that's supporting, and my right hip is getting stretched out here. Now. Remember, your final and more advanced option is to take that arm all the way up to the sky. So if my right leg is back, my right arm is high. And our shoulders are down the back. Really breathing in, breathing out here. If it's too much, remember, just hold here. And if you don't want quite so much of a stretch, just come back slightly. Those of you that find this kind of pressure on your kneecap really uncomfortable, then um, pop something underneath it. So, folded towel, t-shirt, um, if, if that's too thin, maybe a cushion. All right, so just pop that there and just really relax into this position. Let's take two more breaths. Breathing in, breathing out. Okie dokie, so hands come down, we're gonna tuck those back toes, come back into your downward facing dog. So we're in our down dog and, like we've been doing before, pedal those, knees. So again, if you want to, you can just leave those feet on the ground. It's completely up to you, but if you want more of a real hug, then you can just hug those knees in, okay? So, lifting up that left leg again, step, uh, bring it forward, taking left knee behind left wrist, bringing the outside of the calf onto the ground, drop your right knee, untuck those toes at the back, drive that right leg back as far as it will go. Okay, making sure that you're comfortable in this position, your hips can be nice and level and stable, and then when you're ready, if you want to, you can push up into that kind of four pigeon position. All right, or if you feel more comfortable and you want that stretch a little bit more into that left glute, then we can come down onto the forearms. And breathe, really let go, and try to tell your muscles to relax. Tell everything to relax. Remember that spirit level's on your lower back, so keep those hips nice and level towards the ground and the sky. Shoulders are relaxed, and remember those of you who are quite flexible here, you can come all the way down, relaxing here if you want to. But if you want to stay on the forearms, or indeed on the hands, that's your prerogative. You decide.
stretch. Ooh, opening up into the hips and pelvis. One more breath. Okay, we're gonna push up onto our hands. Okay, and we're gonna tuck the toes, but instead of coming back into down dog, I just want you to bring that leg behind you. Knees are nice and wide, toes together. Let's come back into a child's pose. And we're just gonna counter pose all that kind of stretching into the hips by just hugging them in. Now you can either just be on your forearms or if you wanna have a real stretch into your back as well, stretch all the way out with this, whatever's comfortable for you. What we wanna try and do is just ease those sit bones down towards your heels. You'll have done this with me before if you've been doing the daily uplift series, but if not, then just try and get comfortable in which, whichever position is good for you. Now, if you tend to get a little bit sore in the knee when it's this flex, you can pop a cushion, a couple of cushions, just between the thigh and the calf, whatever, whatever works for you, okay? Modify until you feel comfortable. So, whenever you're ready, you're gonna deep breath in, and you're gonna exhale, try and lower a little bit more. Inhale, let's roll the body up. And then we're gonna to come to seated. So, come to seated on your mat, bring your feet together, and again, we're opening up the hips here in a bound angle pose. This one's a really great one for stretching the inner thighs, the abductors, and all the way up into the groin. So, feet come together, doesn't matter if your knees are up, okay? If you can't get your feet far in, not a problem. Just get into a position that loosely resembles this, and bring your hands onto your ankles or your shins. So we're gonna sit nice and tall, deep breath in. And as we exhale, I want you to pull your chest forward. So rather than down, it's coming forward and almost up. And this is keeping our back nice and flat and nice and straight, but we're pushing forward from the base of the spine. And then you should feel that lovely big pull on the inner thighs, okay? All the way up into the groin, just letting go of the shoulders. If you want to, you can just lightly dip into the chin. And we're breathing. Lovely one to open up here. And opening up everything, so we're stretching everything kind of in this upper leg, glute, hip region, all right? It's just gonna make everything feel so much better, particularly for those of you that have been sitting a lot at your desk. Deep breath in. And we exhale to relax back. Okay, I'm just gonna turn for this one. So. We're going to come into easy pose, so legs are cross-legged. Now, if you could try and meet your calves halfway um, to each other, then great. Those of you that are um, comfortable doing so, you might want to flex your feet in this position. All right, if like me, you struggle a little bit with that, then you can just have your feet however is comfortable. And we're just going to we're going to do this both ways. But first, we're just going to inhale to come all the way up. As we exhale, we're just gonna guide ourselves down and forward as far as is comfortable for you. And you should feel a nice big pull into one side of, um, into one leg or into one glute, okay? So breathing in, breathing out. Even if you're not coming that far forward, just far forward enough to get that stretch there. And if you are quite far forward, you might wanna just let your chin go. This is lovely because it stretches out into the back, but also into that glute. One more breath in. And then slowly we're gonna roll the body up. Let's go for our first breath. Ah, let's swap the hands, uh, swap the legs over. So swap them to the way that you wouldn't normally uh, cross your legs now. It might feel a bit funny, okay? They might not feel like they slot together quite as well. It's not a problem, okay? We're gonna inhale, bring those arms up. As we exhale, let's come all the way down and forward. Really stretch there, let your chin go. Ooh, let your back go. Feel that glute stretch on the other side this time. And just giving your hips a hug with this one, I love it. You can let your chin go if you want to, you can let your shoulders really relax. And then when you're ready, you roll back up again. So that's all we're gonna do for today's session. If you want to finish, you can finish by hugging 
your knees in, just giving them a little bit of a break um, and letting your hips just relax a little bit. If you want to go over any of those, then you can just flick the video back a bit and, uh, and do them again if you want to try that. Or you can finish off this by maybe having a nice shavasana, nice lie down in corpse pose and finishing with your um, meditation relaxation. Have a great evening and I will see you tomorrow.